Hello everyone, today we have <coughs> new kit from Mini Art Company. As you can see, these are figurines in 135 scale. And this set contains, I guess, five figurines of the US Army Driver Series. It's written here. So, as you can see, box itself is not that big. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Uh, here we have nice box art, uh, which was drawn. Uh, here you can see the signature of the painter. So it's written here also that kit contains 44 parts, uh, which are enough to build, to assemble five figurines in different poses, as you can see. Uh, then on the sides we have some information about other available kits, some information about uh, kit itself. Here we have painting guide. As you can see, we have uh, painting. Uh, covers provided in various numbers, so we have Palejo, Testorta, Mia, Humbro, Revel, even Gunzi and some standard designations, so I guess it will be easy to pick up the right shade from your favorite manufacturer. So, uh, this is side opening box, just give me a second to open it. And there is no assembly manual, because as you can see this uh, painting manual serves as an assembly manual at the same time. Uh, I need a scissors to open the back. Give me a second. Okay. Here we have it. So, in total, we can say that we have five spruce as you can see here. Uh, but those three are connected uh, with one large let's say tube. So I'll focus the camera and show them one by one. So each sprue is dedicated to one figurine obviously and as you can see parse division is typical for the um, figurine kits. So we have separately molded legs, separately molded hands, heads and torsos. Also here you can see uh, the special tools which are molded separately. Here you can see few canister which has even handle mode separately for better detailization and here you can see face of the driver with separately molded head. Another sprue contains a different driver model. As you can see here we have another driver's face. Uh, facial features I would say not that much pronounced but they should be more than enough for 135 scale. And I don't see any, let's say, major problems. As you can see, even tiny components are carefully molded. Maybe you would have to remove some small amount of flesh, but it's uh, it can be explained uh, with size of those models. Here is another sprue. This time for the seating uh, driver with this special tool for the wheels. Again, head is molded separately and note all these wrinkles on the uh, trousers, on the head, they look more or less realistic and I think they will benefit from various washes done. Another sprue uh, contains driver uh, with, I guess it can be placed with steering wheel. So we have, uh, let's say, bent legs, bent hands, torso is here and here is the head, with head. Very nice molding quality and I guess it should be easy to assemble. Of course these figurines are, let's say, their positions are predefined, so there won't be uh, that much freedom in their, uh, let's say, position, but from, uh, from the other side it's interesting to use these figurines in order to get more realistic appearance of your model. Uh, that's not all for the review, don't forget to check full review article on our website and as usual I would like to recommend you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group. This will help us greatly. Thank you for watching once again and see you soon.